the sort of the free look and look around, but in the heat of battle and the heat of flying, yeah, it doesn't really help you much, does it? It's like a display on top of a display. Undoubtedly, it's uh, pretty good for mining because the look left to right and bottom, there's absolutely nothing there. It gives you great visibility. Something for them to work on, I think. Even if they brought them displays down by an inch, two inches maybe. There we go, altitude's coming up, so we're getting close now. Say close-ish. One of the things I always use, I always use landing mode as my, as my brake, basically. Because you know once you press it, you're going to be doing 50. It does seem to brake quite quickly as well. We are coming down quite a, quite a heavy speed here. Normally moving a little bit also helps you decrease speed, as you can see now. Should probably settle down to about 200, my guess. Quite a bit to scanning. Scanning and mining. It's not just a case of flying down and, you know, old microvoxelin. Quite time consuming as well. Not necessarily against that. I don't know really what I was expecting from mining. I would say this is not a disappointment. I think there are some changes that are needed. And I think that's more to do with the economy side of it, really. Because at the moment, the time it takes you to mine over doing a cargo run, it's quite a big difference there. We're doing 200 now. Probably should find a little bit of flat land. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's going to get lucky, aren't we, really? Put them landing legs down. So, what are the controls? The controls are for... Finding rocks, first of all, you just tap tab and it opens this sort of window up. We're going to put it away for now, just to get a little bit closer to the floor first. 400 out. Some rocks there look quite suspect, don't they? probably do this in it okay so it's simple just press tab this thing comes up you hold down the left mouse button i'm using mouse and keyboard i find it easier with when you're doing this mining you'll see what i mean when you try it let go and does this thing and we're looking for sort of there we go there's one there god that was lucky wasn't it now where i went wrong when i first did this blooming mining is i thought oh look there's one there let's go mine this one it doesn't work like that i'll show you why there are easier ones and there's harder ones. So we're going to get a little bit closer first of all. At this point in time, I'm not overly bothered about what we're going to get from this. We can get a little bit closer as well. So, we don't need to scan in anymore because we, we know it's a target. We just tap M. This comes up. Old Nelly's trunks comes out and you're ready to go. This is not actually a bad one. I'll tell you how I know that. I'll, I'll go through some of the display first just to help you guys out. You can see what's up the top there. You've got energy transfer, you've got the deposit, and then you've got the mass. The mass is obviously the rock material in it. Below that, you've got the cargo capacity. That's what you've got in your ship, so we've got nothing at the moment. The fracture sensor and the overcharge sensor, the sensor there as well. That ties into the other side. We'll go for that in a second. On the other side, where you've got that instability and resistance and laser tolerance and rock energy, basically what we need to do is fire a laser at this to break the rock up. And if you look at rock energy level, what we want to do is we want to keep the power of the laser between that white gap. Now, the reason I was saying earlier, if we look at that one there, we'll go and find another rock now. Hopefully we'll find one close by. Could do another... I'll show it. I mean, like I said, I did get lucky with that rock. Is there going to be any more? Let me do another. Maybe 
we should do this one because we'd be flying around for a while otherwise. We'll look over this way. Can't see anymore. I think we'll just go for this one. So back down here, I was going to try and find another rock to sort of demonstrate what I mean. So if you look down by rock NG level, that little white line before the red, depending on the rock you find, that white bit would be different sizes. So sometimes it's like a millimetre. Very difficult to keep it in there. Um, I've tried it a couple of times. If the rock does blow up, you do take damage, like I said. It will damage your screen and maybe damage a couple of other bits, but it's not the end of the world. So what I'm going to do, fire up the laser. I've done that just by pressing left click. At the moment, nothing's happening. It's just because there's not enough power in the laser to build up the rock, basically to build up the energies. So what you do to build up the energy is you scroll the centre mouse wheel up. And if you look at the laser throttle, see that's eight, and move up slower. I'm looking below now at the rock energy level to see if it's moving. It's not yet, so I'm gonna keep all this, just starting to move now. Here we go, I'm gonna move on a bit more. And keep moving, let's keep scrolling up. The first time you do this, when you find a rock, it needs quite a lot to do the first one. I'll show you what I mean. So we're at 52 now. So at 52, it's just moving. So what I'm going to do now, while well, I've got the chance, I'm going to try 51. I want it to stop. 50. 49. 48. Still moving. 47. Still moving. I'm going to go much lower. 42. Still moving at 42. What I'm trying to find is the spot where it just stops. So when I get into that white, I can control it. Otherwise, it just goes straight into the red and blow up. So 41 is going slow. So I reckon 39. So if I carry on like this, and then when it starts moving the white, drop it back down to about 39. I reckon that should probably hold. So we let it carry on. There's no rush. It's moved in now. I'm going to drop back to 40 now. We've got 38, see how we get on. So they're already at 50%, it's not halfway, see what I mean? So if you look at the other side now, look, fracture center sensor. When that gets to 100%, the rock breaks. So I'm fine, I don't have to panic. Boom, rock breaks. There we are. What is a bit weird, you can actually fire both lasers at the same time. I guess it's all above. So, brakes, what do you get now? See there's different colours. That first rock we were going for was the orange colour. Orange one is one that needs to... Okay, that was a little bit more complicated to do the mining. That's not just to press the laser and you just get everything. But uh, when you have tried some hours, you know how to do it. That's titanium, that's the same from E19. Treat titanium or Veltusbar. The. Let's change the mode. Orange is, is one that needs to be fractured in fractured and mode. Squadide. So these ones here. Well, not them ones. These and ones, the purple ones, are the ones that can be go into fraction mode. So we can. There we go, you can see it coming up the thing now. So the orange ones need breaking again. The smaller ones are easier though, so it's not as hard. One done. We do this one as well. All these goodies coming into my cargo hold. Nelly's filling up. So you can see the cargo capacity there is now at what, 16%. So now we're gonna uh, Turn off my extraction mode. Steak, is that one over there? Can't tell. No more purples. There's one there. Quite a lot of cargo already, just by doing a couple of rocks. So we, we need to break some more anyway. It's a bit annoying sometimes when you uh, try and Turn off the laser. I'm guessing this is a bug because I want that to go off now. I know it looks like that both of them are on, doesn't it? So 
if I go stretch them at off. So now this rock here, we've got a couple of rocks. Let's do the one that's closer. I don't know why that keeps coming on. It's weird, isn't it? So I think it's above. That was going on way too quick, so I'm going to draw that right down. Yes, I will not watch it. Yes, I will watch it uh, later. That's the Avenger version 2. We can see a little bit of that. What we have here, my commercial. I never see that. I never finish this. This economics of yes, Star Citizen quick starter guy. I was watching a bit of this. Well, let's look this ship uh, some minutes. Adventure. Life in the city comes at you at a thousand meters a second. According to a recent study, the average city dweller is subjected to over 60,000 forms of stimuli on any given day. With that much information beamed into your brain, it's not surprising that some people can react a little differently. Desmond Flay, known as Des to his friends and family, was by all accounts a quiet and respectful young man, which made his actions on March 8, 2938, even more surprising. It was described as a joyride like no other. A high-speed chase in the skies that covered several hundred miles of dense urban airspace. Within an hour, he had thousands of adoring fans who watched the authorities scramble to catch him. But Dex saved his best surprise for last. took a look around, smiled, and said, I just wanted some peace and quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a ship review. Now today, we are taking a look at the new reworked Avenger. Now I've pulled out this stalker because we can look at the, the pods that go in the back as well for storing your prisoners at the same time. These were an issue in the previous Avenger. Getting in was ridiculously tight, and they've made some significant improvements inside now. Okay, obvious difference here is the material. I really like what they've done here. I think this is probably the closest to what a spaceship in this century anyway would probably look like. Purely, I suppose, the shape, otherwise known as the space penguin, if you want to call it that. I like the material they've got on it. I think it looks really, really nice. It's almost like a material, isn't it, to uh, withstand some heat. And you can see that the, on the wingtips there, they've got it all on the wingtips. It does stop for a very small section under here. And then it continues all along here as well, look, yeah, but in a black colour. All the way going down to the back as well. So, materials look good. It's a definite upgrade on the previous. Now, it is bigger in all ways, believe it or not. 
purely on the basis before it wasn't really functionable inside really it was just a bit of a pain to maneuver yourself inside particularly if there's two people inside front looks really nice this flies really well in the pu at the moment it's probably one of the better ships for flying around doing missions purely because of the speed and the acceleration that it's got it's got a good combination of speed in atmospheric as well it just gives you the ability to get your target quite quickly so weapon on the front gatling no changes there obviously a lot of these weapons have had uh, been remodeled now we're getting to the point where most of the ships have modeled guns now rather than the placeholders amazing detail in here you can see the uh the belt there for the bullets once again this is a fantastic gun downside being obviously you're depleting ammo over energy but i would pick this one all day long personally because this just tears ships apart at the moment once we get a better and true armor in star citizen then i should imagine that maybe this won't be as good the lighting looks amazing doesn't it Weapons under the arm there. One thing they need to work on, uh, that I'm going to do a little report on the uh, on the cancel, is um, the OLEDs on the uh, legs. I'll show what I mean. I'll come down like this. Now, first of all, you can see that the wheel is square. Well, not square. I don't know what that shape is. Lots of flat sides. But if I get closer, you should see the whole thing change in a minute. There we go, you just saw it there, look. The things start loading in when you get closer. It does go rounder, and it does go totally round. Just needs a little bit of adjusting. As you can see, I mean, if you look from over here, you know, the landing legs looks pretty impressive. You're probably actually not even loading it incorrectly. And then when you get closer, fortunately, you have to get a little bit too close before the rest of it loads in. So small adjustment there. But when you do get this close, it looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Even the detail inside as well is quite impressive. Weapons on the arms. Same on the other side. Pottering through with this sort of material. This is a new thing. It's the only ship that's got this sort of material. The Mustang Delta had this sort of SIM card material on it. Upgraded armor on it quite a while ago. And then once again, the landing legs are going to do the same thing here, aren't they? Very detailed. Small adjustment there for them. This is one of the very few ships to have curves, if that makes any sense. A lot of the other ships are quite flat-sided. This one's very uh, curvy, should I say. Some really cool lights on it as well. It's got lights on the rear here, on the little wing tips here. Look. Yes, it's 4.30 in the morning and I have 20 minutes left. Let's uh, just watch this one. Not the whole, I'm not record at all and uh, I will empty the memory cards up tomorrow. And a little light up the top there, lighting up the logo. And it's got some more at the front here as well on these wing tips here. Just sets it off and makes it look nice. There are some other lights over here as well. They don't really serve a massive purpose. They will give you some ambient light when you're on a planet in the dark, I found. Would have been nice to have maybe a nose light as well. Landing gear on the back is uh, pretty uh, heavy, really, isn't it? What I mean is two wheels. You could probably get it just done with the one, really. Yes. I suppose if you're carrying cargo, then the weight might be a little... But I think I would like to find my uh, playlist. And my star citizen. Because it did crash. Okay, that may be the last one. Law will pick. That's maybe this one.
Yes. I Fakta kommer et tilbud sjældent alene. Se hele tiden. Og Salvage balcony, I guess it... Salvage balcony, I guess if you need to like, look at the... Yes, it did crash here last time. But uh, let's see this this mining gameplay. I think uh, yes, I have to reboot uh, my computer. Let's see this adventure. Right. And it's got these little folded wing pieces as well. Like if you look at the a few side. more minutes. Actually, that's a really nice profile, isn't it? It's a really nice looking ship, isn't it? Flies fantastically as well. And then we've got the engines, we can jump over here, have a look. You can see there. Really nice. And then let's take a look inside. Lots of changes in here. Mainly to do with the height, clearly. This is all new. All these pods are new. Pods before were I'm gonna say unusable. I'm not really sure how they were ever gonna work. Two piece door there as well piece that folds up. We see that from the outside. Maybe just gives you a little bit of extra access. I imagine they kept some of the uh, design cues from the, uh, let's call it the V1. And you'll find that now, if I stand here now and press F4, there's enough room for a van door in here, isn't there? I don't know if you get him inside. One of them, though, would you? Probably not, no. But, I mean, they're, let's just say I'm six foot two with the helmet on. Van door nine feet tall. They're probably walking here. Which is probably not a good thing, really, is it? If a van door's on your ship, then then it's not going well in general, is it? Yes. So see the cockpit. Lot of stuff just been tidied up. And we can actually jump in these as well. And I'll show you. Just about see the head height here. It's quite a bit. So there's definitely a couple of inches above my head, which makes total sense. And if I close the door, loads of room. Look, you could probably get two people in here. Probably easy actually, can you? Little window. And clearly, once you're locked in here, there won't be an open button because that'd be a bit daft, wouldn't it? I did notice this. Look at these blooming locks. Look, same thing you get on a safe, isn't it? Good luck trying to get out of there, eh? Close button actually just sits up here, just there normally. But you can press it around the doors. These will be removable as well. Now, clearly, if this was the cargo one, you wouldn't have these here. Lovely detail on the floor there. They've used lots of new materials in this one, particularly even that little steel plate in there, that checkered plate. We've seen glass, we've seen you know transparent, different materials here. This is pretty cool. If you look when I walk close, uh, watch the step. And just to help you up. Now, the previous Avenger, this door was ridiculously tight. You had duck going in here, it was just ridiculous. Now, looking at it in front of you, you think, oh, it looks the same. But if I go into this view, and you see what I mean, there's actually loads of room, look. I've probably got at least a foot and a half above my head there. Lots of room, no more ducking. There is a slight ducking point in this second door going through. It's only for a little short second, but I'll show you. <laughs> These little windows you've got up here as well, showing all the piping and so on. Storage. Weird button down there. I don't want to